and broke the world record. Today, I am here to support Fela so that she can also break the world record. We are very excited because it means that Ghana is moving forward. It means that Ghana is on the map. When you have such brave women coming forward to do things that many people cannot do, it puts Ghana on the map. It brings investors, it brings tourists to see this country, that this is a country that has people who are determined people. I am very, very excited about what Fela is doing. It is something that I've never seen before. I have only read about it, but I'm happy today my eyes have seen what the lady is doing. I want all of us to join me in uh, encouraging her, supporting her. She is not sleep. She is not sleeping. We are also, we shouldn't be sleeping. I saw on the TV people drumming and dancing and encouraging her. I'm also here. I can't drum and dance, but at least I can have some encouraging words to give to her. She has done well. I commend her family for also allowing her to take on such a responsible and a courageous uh, activity. I am very confident that she will clock. Uh, what, what, what are we trying to do? How many hours? One, we should, we should go about 135, 140. We are going to pray that whatever strength God can give her, let him give him her so that she can break the world record and God will be on the map. Thank you very much. I didn't come empty-handed, as they say, in our culture. I brought some food stamps. She's cooking. So we have some rice. We have some canned uh, fish. We have some canned uh, tea tomatoes. Um, now, what else do we have? We have a crate of eggs. And uh, uh, we well, are uh, discussing why uh, getting on to do things that others have also done before, but we can do better. It also it demonstrates that Ghana is a moving forward country. It is a country that has courageous people. It is a country that has people who will dare to do things that others cannot do. Remember that we say we want to be a country where we are self-dependent. So when you see, especially young women, coming forward and saying, this is something that has not been done, I am going to do it, and in full view of the public, the whole world is looking at it on the net. So let us, uh, I say that at the powers of government, we are very excited. We are encouraged that we, our people are really up to the tax, that our people are very courageous, and that they know that they have a country that is worth honoring. That is why I have my Ghana flag. Now, we, we know that um, we may have very talented people who want to go into this thing, but financially they may not be able to. Are we thinking of setting up any fund at the tourism department industry to begin to tap into some of these things and get an action? You know, these are, uh, it should be the us as citizens. I have worked in the uh, NGO world. What I am saying is that you can do this as citizens support each other. It should not be a government thing at all. But 
but we can also contribute. So I have come to contribute such that we all, as Ghanaians, see ourselves as one people with one common destiny. And what, what does this mean to us as a country in terms of tourism? Oh, for tourism, this is good. What is happening and what happened in Accra is already on the net. People are seeing Ghana that this is a country worth visiting. So for tourism, it will bring a lot of interest into people and also investors. Thank you very much, Madam. Thank <laughs> you. 